What's up, family? Man, um, it's Sunday um, morning. Um, getting ready for work. Um, normally don't work on Sundays, but yeah, it's it's crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? It is what it is. You know, um, I'm grateful for this opportunity. I'm grateful for you know the position that I have. I'm grateful for the job that I have. I'm grateful for the opportunity to get up and to be able to go to work. You know what I mean? Man, gratitude is the key. Gratitude is the key. If you don't learn anything else from me, man, you have to understand gratitude. You know what I mean? Um, family, <laughs> it's not what we're going to talk about today, but man, somebody need to hear that. Um, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Um, serious question you know um what are you going to do because as you start shining as you start walking in your purpose your light is going to get so much brighter the joy the the energy that you're going to feel it's going to be so much sweeter you know what i mean it's going to be so much better and so many people from your past are going to pop up you know, ex-girlfriends, ex-boyfriends, whatever it is, you know what I mean? Family members that, that didn't think you were crap, you know what I mean? Family members that thought you were stupid, didn't think you knew what you were talking about. Family members that hated you since you were a kid. Family members that have dogged you out, you know, because who the heck were you to act like you were all that? No, you know, all that stupid stuff people do, you know? It is what it is, you know? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You know, because the reality is some of them been watching you the whole time. You know, some of them been watching your journey the whole time, standing in the back, you know, stalking. You know what I mean? Just straight up stalking you, you know, never commenting, never liking the video, never saying anything, never letting you know that they were watching. They wouldn't subscribe. They would just sit there and watch you. You know, they would watch your every movement. Stay with me. We're going somewhere. And now that, you know, you're walking in your purpose and your light is shining so much brighter and you're helping so many people, you know what I mean? And you have this peace, this joy that they can't understand, you know, what are you going to do when they pop up? I want you guys to start thinking about that. Get prepared for that. Because a couple of things are going to happen. They're going to pop up and they're going to act like, man, they're your long lost best friend. They're going to pop up like they've always knew you could do it. They're going to pop up like they've always had the faith and confidence in you. And whoop de whoop de whoop. You know it's BS. You know it's BS. You know what I mean? But they're going to act like they've always been your greatest supporter, your greatest cheerleader. You know what I mean? And they've caused you the greatest pain, the greatest frustration you know what I mean man the greatest tears you know but they're gonna act like everything's good you know like let's just pick up the pieces and let's just keep moving you know what I mean let's you know let's not worry about what happened in the past let's just move forward you know don't bring up the old stuff don't bring up what I did don't bring up what I did how I let you how I dodged you all how I lied on you how I did all this other stuff well, it was just misunderstanding and stop talking about the past and whoop de whoop and you know you're supposed to be a chosen one you're supposed to be this and you're supposed to be that let's just move forward blah 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 man family what are you gonna do <laughs> and then there are gonna be those that pop up and they see your light they see your joy. They see you walking in your purpose. And they're going to hate you. They're going to despise you even more so now. What you went through with them in the past, nothing compared to the hell. You're going to have to endure with them now. Their rage, their anger, their hostility. What are you going to do? Because see, some people, because, and again, you have to understand, everybody's different. 
everybody has their own unique journey. You know what I mean? It is what it is. It's not our job to condemn anybody. It's not our job to put anybody in hell. It's not our job to look down on anybody, to judge anybody, or anything of that nature. That's not what we do. But understand that they're coming. You know what I mean? If they haven't arrived yet, understand that they're coming. With all their negativity, with all their toxicity, they're coming. What are you going to do? Because they're going to blame you for all the hell you're, they're going through. There is your fault. You know what I mean? They're not going to embrace the fact. And this is the part that's going to hurt them the most. They know deep down inside that they messed up. They know that they messed up. They're not going to want to acknowledge that they messed up. They're going to blame you for everything wrong in their life. They're going to blame you for all the hell that they're going through. They're going to blame you for all their trauma, all their drama. They're going to blame you for everything. They're going to blame you for their childhood. They're going to blame you for everything. You know what I mean? It is what it is. What are you going to do? You're going to have those that pop up in your life and they're going to be so mad at you and so hateful and disgusted that you're happy. So disgusted that you've moved on. So disgusted that you have this peace that passes all understanding. You have this joy that they've never understood. You have this knowledge, this wisdom, and you're sharing your light, your love with others. And they're going to know that they had the opportunity to be there all along. What could, what all could they have learned? How much could they have healed? How much further in their journey could they have been had they stuck with you? Had they given you the fair chance? Had they not did you the way they did you? But they're not going to accept it as that. They know that. But they're going to blame you. They know what they did. They know they didn't give you a fair chance. They know they dogged you out. But they're going to blame you. Because they haven't gotten to that point of emotional growth and maturity to process and understand and accept responsibility for their own actions. And so they're going to blame you. They're going to project and everything else. They're going to blame you. It is what it is. What are you going to do when they pop up with all their lies and all their fake love and admiration for you? What are you going to do when they pop up and they're full of rage and anger and hatred towards you? Because their light isn't shining. Because they're not happy. What are you going to do? <laughs> it's a difficult situation to be in. Difficult situation to be in. If you haven't learned how to get your ego under control. My hope and prayer is that you're, you've learned to tame your ego. You've learned to control your ego. You don't get caught up in all the fanfare. You don't get caught up in all the glam. And all the hype. Because it's all poison. It's all toxic poison. It's just as toxic. As all of the hatred. All of the animosity. All of the bitterness. That others are going to spew. Because they haven't resolved their issues. And they're going to blame you for it. So you're going to have two different spectrums. Two different realms of people. Come back into your life. Those that hype you up. And blah 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 blah. You know. And then those that hate you even more. Because you're doing things that make them look bad. You're outshining them. They didn't believe that you had what it took. To be where you're at. 
You didn't argue with them. You didn't fight with them. You just kept moving. You allowed your life to speak for itself. And they hate that. They despise that. And it's okay. It is what it is. What are you going to do? Don't allow other people's issue to become your issue. Don't allow other people's issue to become your issue. Some of you, because you love this person so much, you're going to give the, your ex another chance. And you're going to get broken. And you're going to get crushed. Because you're going to believe the lies. Some of you, you're going to listen to all the negativity, all the hate, all the drama, all the whoop do whoop do whoop And you're going to start feeling depressed. You're going to start feeling frustrated about yourself. What are you going to do? And it is what it is. You know what I mean? Some of us are just coming out of those situations where we believed all the hype from an ex, you know what I mean? Or a family member that we gave another chance or we tried to give another chance and they crushed us again. Or we listened to all the negativity, all the poison from someone else that came in from the past again. We bought into all their anger, their their frustration, their bitterness, their resentment, their jealousy, their hate. We'll do, we bought into all of that crap and started feeling bad about ourselves. Started feeling bad about our success. Started feeling bad about where we are in our life and all of our accomplishments. And we'll do it. We'll what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I keep asking you that question because I want that to hit you. I want that to stay with you. Because I want you to understand that you have options. You have a choice. My hope and prayer. My hope and prayer. Is that you get discernment. And you learn and understand where they're coming from and you see them for who they are you see their energy for what it is some are going to come and they're going to mean well and their intentions are going to be pure and maybe for you and for you it's the right thing to give them another chance some are going to come and their energy are going to be off. And it's going to be poisonous. Mass and love and fanfare and glam and all that other hype. And some of you, because you don't have discernment, you're going to give them another chance. And you're going to get crushed again. And some of you, you're going to buy into all that negativity. And you're going to stop letting your light shine. You're going to dim your own light. You're going to get off track. You're going to stop doing all that you came here to do. Because you've gotten distracted by all their madness, all their chaos, all their drama, all that noise. It is what it is. But you're going to need discernment. You're going to need discernment. Discernment and judgment have nothing to do with each other. Judgment is a thing from the ego. It's a logical thing. Discernment is spiritually based. You could fake the funk. And there are so many that have faked the funk. 
and logic would make anyone believe that it's legit. Their actions are pure. They mean well. They got your best intentions in heart. Discernment will read and discern and read through all the madness. You know what I mean? Discernment cannot be deceived. When you have discernment, you're not going to be deceived by their actions, by the things they say. Interesting times we live in. Interesting times. For those of us that are walking in our purpose, for those of us that are fulfilling why we came here, you're going to get bombarded on so many different ways. So many different people. You have to have discernment. And be grateful for it all. Be grateful for all the experiences you have. The good, the bad, the indifferent, they're all good. They're all good. They're all here to teach you something. And when you make the wrong choice, because you gave somebody another chance that you shouldn't have, and you bought into the negativity and all the drama, be grateful for those things and learn the lesson. Those lessons are to teach you, man, I have to increase my discernment. I have to learn how to use discernment. And discernment can only come from being tapped into, being in alignment with God or your highest being, whatever you want to call it. I love you guys. Happy healing. Peace.